and welcome back to Staying Fervent with Tracy. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe and like and hit the notifications bell so that you will be notified each time I come on the air. Today I want to share an encouraging word with you. God spoke with me this morning and he said, be at peace with them. And I know this word is for someone else other than myself because a lot of times when he shares words with me, it's for someone else. And this one is for you all too. He said, be at peace with them. Be at peace with whoever it is in your life that has set themselves that they're going to be an array against you. That they're going to be your try to be your stumbling block. That they're going to try to be your hindrance. And they're going to try to steal your peace. God says, be at peace with them. This is just a trick and a ploy of the enemy to get you off focus. To get you off focus of what you need to do today, tomorrow, this week, even the season that you're in. God says, be at peace with them. He said he have given us peace. He, he left us with great peace. He said, I give you peace not as the world give. Uh-uh. I give you my peace. And we know that Jesus is Jehovah Shalom. That is the Hebrew word for God is our peace. And that is what he is to us. So there's no need to get out of character. There's no need for your composure to be shaken. You keep a smile on your face and you keep joy in your heart. You keep moving in God today. This week, this weekend, the rest of the week, hey, maybe they'll be blessed out of the situation when they see you walking in God. Sometimes it's a good thing not to give back to a person what they're giving to you. Give them peace. If they're throwing out meanness to you, give them peace. If they're giving you unkindness, throw back a little kindness to them. And maybe it'll turn their heart toward being good to you. But if it doesn't, there is no need for you to break character. There's no need for you to break uh, the There's no need for you to break that. He said, be at peace. Continue to talk like a Christian. Act like a Christian. Do not break your character. See, the devil wants to try to stir us up, disrupt our spirit disrupt our day, disrupt whatever we have going on. But the best thing to do, don't pay any attention to him. Be at peace, saith the Lord. The devil really wants attention. He wants us to give him attention so that we can take our focus off of God. But we're not doing that. So today I pray that you be at peace with them. He said, have your composure, that thing about you, let it be undisturbed. Isaiah tells us that our children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be our peace and undisturbed composure. That means we will remain composed because of the peace that God give us. We will remain composed. Let that be your confession today that I'm going to remain composed regardless of what come up against me, regardless of who they want to uh, walk in peace with me you know some people have said in their mind already that they're not going to be at peace with you so the quicker we know this the quicker we learn this the better and if you recognize that in someone in your life know this they just have been sent by the enemy to stir you up but great is your peace and your undisturbed composure God also said his peace he leaves with us not like the world give but great is his peace that he gives us. And he tells us that when we keep our mind on him, that great is our peace. Great is our peace. So when we lay issues down and we keep our heart and our focus on God, great shall be our peace and undisturbed composure. And lastly, I want to say the Isaiah scripture I mentioned is Isaiah 54 and 13. And all of your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be their peace and undisturbed composure. Don't let your composure get disturbed. Stay at peace. God says, be at peace with them. And I'll encourage you in this also. Anytime God give you an encouraging word in the morning or he, you feel like he's speaking to your spirit, get into the word. Find scriptures on whatever it is his, he, that he has said. Find scriptures on whatever he has shared with you and begin to meditate on those words. Since he told me that this morning, I have been meditating on those scriptures. Great peace, the peace he gives me. Nothing shall offend me all of that goodness and I just saturate my mind and my heart into what he has said this morning. It really gets down in our spirit when we remember it when we're confronted in it. Amen. Remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and always stay fervent. I'll see you next time.